Welcome everyone to Super User TV. I am your host, Derek De La Cruz. In this video, I'll be showing you the official Ice Cream Sandwich update from Samsung T-Mobile for the Galaxy S2, the T989. Okay. Basically what I'll be doing is talking about the update itself because at the moment it's only manually and um, I'll be doing a walkthrough of the software and showing you the little additions here and there with TouchWiz and overall my thoughts and opinions. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so it's here you can see the about the phone and your settings. You can see the model number, the official 4.0.3 update from uh, Samsung and T-Mobile. Now, um, quick additions here. Of course, uh, the beauty about it is that you're going to get all the functionality of Ice Cream Sandwich that we've grown to love for the Galaxy Nexus. Okay, you have your data usage. You can see your data limits. You have your um, Android Beam, okay, so now you can transfer data over NFC with using your Galaxy S2, which is definitely a feature that was lacking before. Why have NFC if you can't use it, right? So um, now you're able to do that. Under display, you can uh, change the pretty much all your display information here. A uh, nice little addition is the font style. You can change your font, as you can see there. And you can also get some more online. Now, um, thing to note is the security has changed, okay? Uh, great thing is that now we have face unlock. However, with my experience with face unlock, the battery does tend to waste quicker on your device, which I'll get more into details with battery issues or battery in later in this video, okay? And when you go down, you're gonna have developer, uh, developer options, uh, information, pretty much everything we've seen for uh, the Galaxy Nexus, okay? Very nice there. Now, um, as far as the OS is concerned, um, as you can see, it is not running, or it's running a TouchWiz theme, so you're not going to get the beauty of Android 4.0, the Holo uh, theme, which is a bummer, but uh, they did improve the dock a bit, and also the lock screen looks really good as well. Um, you do have uh, action of your notification bar here, so you can swipe across, or, you know, jump into a notification if you like and the lock screen looks actually you know really good now uh, other ad additional feature like you've seen most recent apps if you hold down the home button you have the most recent apps here and you, all you have to do is slide to pretty much kill that application okay as a task manager other features um, just a couple that, have, that they have added is the ability to restart your device by holding down the power button so you have that new option also, screen captures, and since this is ice cream sandwich, the screen capture combination changed, okay? So you need to take a screenshot. It's no longer the power button and the home soft key, all right? It's gonna be the power button and the volume down rocker. So if you hold those two together, you can take a screenshot, and you can send it as an email, or as you can see, you can swipe it all across and just view it later, okay? Just a couple of other features that they changed. And added. So lastly, I'm going to start off with the. All right, guys. So lastly, is going to be the system itself, uh, thoughts and opinions, and about the update. Now, the update uh, right now currently is done manually over Kias. Uh, you have to hook up your computer or your phone to your computer via USB, and use the Kias software that Samsung provides to update. Now, you can wait till the 21st to do it, uh, get the over there update. But if you can't wait, you can do it manually. Um, as far as experience wise, uh, download speeds were horrible at the beginning, however I've, ad I've updated two others and significantly improved since then. Okay. Now um, as far as battery is concerned, uh, the first couple of days it didn't justify because I was always on it uh, more than usual, a lot more than usual just because I wanted to learn the new software, new uh, test, touch with. So battery life at the beginning was kind of horrible. Over time, average usage, it's actually good okay it's not great um, from my first experience with uh, gingerbread on this it's actually a little bit worse than gingerbread um, but again it does vary depending on your usage okay uh, things to note though um, if you use the face unlock feature I've noticed that when that feature is enabled my at least my battery did the battery drained significantly faster than say just stock uh, pattern unlock or just regular unlock okay and that's pretty much it guys um, updates are there everything you need to know will be in the link in the description below 
And if you guys have any questions or comments about this update, please feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to help. So, guys, enjoy. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys until next time.